Hi everybody, John Ellis with Uphill Media and uh, Bernie2016 TV. And I want to talk to you about some of the online tools for the revolution. Um, these are the tools that we've been using with Bernie2016 TV and, and now Uphill Media for the last two years uh, to get things done. And other groups and organizations are also using these tools. And so I want to I just want to get everybody on the same page, the political revolution. If we work with these tools together, we can collaborate easier, communicate with each other easier. So just kind of go through them all. The first one is Slack. Slack is basically a private Facebook. There's no better way to describe it. And uh, I'm going to show you back out here. I'm, I'm using Google Slides to do this presentation, by the way. This is Slack. We're in, in uh, Facebook, you have groups that you can join. In Slack, which is controlled by you know, the owner of the, the Slack, you have uh, channels, both private and public channels that you can be a member of. So this is a great way to break up your organization into groups that need to get things done, your committees, whatever. Uh, you can have private groups for the, those that need to be and, and public ones for everybody to have a conversation. It's also a great place for your team to just hang out. Because this is social media. It's a running, uh, you know, it's, it's not email. It's a real-time communication in text, which is important. This is how we communicate with each other today. It's how we get things done, right? Not waiting for email correspondence to bounce back and forth and have somebody misunderstand something because they didn't read the last email and then somebody didn't get the one before that. And, and email is, is a, a very, uh, it's, it's, not a, it's a good way to archive information and conversation, but it's not a good way to have a conversation, right? We have better methods. So that's what Slack is for. Organizing your team, your group into one place, giving them their own channels to have a conversation in, and giving them a place to just hang out. It's one of the things that's kept Bernie 2016 running for two years now. And we, we've got a place where they can come back. We've got volunteers that signed up over a year ago, longer at the beginning, and they come back when they need to every once in a while because you know that volunteers will burn out, right? So this gives them a home base. That's why Slack is so important. Anyway, back to the main list. The next is Workflowy. You can see on my my uh, slides list here, Workflowy is uh, an, an online outlining tool, and it does it really fast. And that's why I like it. I use Workflowy to organize my thoughts and what I'm going to talk about. This is we're looking at um, tools for the online democracy communication. The whole thing, though, is the Lynn County Democrats. You can move data around quickly, and you can import and export. And so uh, I like Workflowy as a way to take notes from meetings. If you're the person who has to document what's going on, right, uh, at, at the local meetings of whatever you got going on. If you're trying to collaborate with somebody in a group and you're trying to have a quick list, let's build this list, figure out what the priorities are. That's what Workflowy is for. It's really good. So next. I'm trying to go through this as fast as I can because there's a there's a longer point with youtube but basically videos don't need to be really long we want to chop them up into small segments digestible pieces right and that's well, that's another reason why we use certain online tools but I, let's, let's talk about that real quick google platform is the next and google platform comprises a ton of the tools that we need gmail google hangouts Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar, and YouTube, which while it's a part of the Google platform, is really its own world. YouTube is the most powerful and should be your primary media source. That is where you put your media first because from YouTube, you can derive all of your other media. But first, just to start at the top with the Google platform. Get a Gmail. You need a Gmail, and you need to get into the Google platform and learn how to use it. It's free. And we're not going to talk about <laughs> intellectual property and what that really means in terms of free or not. But uh, the Google Docs platform is great for collaboration. It, it, I'm using slides right now to talk about this with you. Gmail is a great way to just ha everybody have an email. It gets us into the platform system. Hangouts is part of what I use to do what I do here with engagement broadcasting. That's fancy pants stuff we can talk about in another video. But Google Hangouts is a web conferencing system that's free. It allows for up to 10 people uh, to be in a Hangout at once. And it can be broadcast online so that if you want to talk to 100 people, you can send them the email, you can send them a link to it, or you can broadcast to public and have your web conference be broadcast. It's, it's a, a very powerful tool, and it is the best way for us to communicate in real time with each other as small groups. 
all right, or large groups through YouTube. Uh, so uh, Hangouts is an extremely powerful tool that everybody needs to learn how to use. Is it different than Skype? Yes. Is it more powerful than Skype? Yes. Is it different than FaceTime? Yes. More powerful? Yes. Forget about all of those other web conferencing. Google Hangouts is very powerful for so many reasons, and it is it behooves everybody in the revolution to learn how to use it and learn how to master it and be, become a master of Google Hangouts and what it can do for you and your groups. Just just on its own. Then you connect it to software and equipment like what I've got going on here, and it becomes a, a basically a, a real-time production studio. You can be broadcasting your media network, and you're rocking and rolling. And that's where we're trying to get with all of these revolution groups, because information is what we're working with here in this war. Information is key. Our narrative pushed out into the waves. So anyway, a lot on that. I'm not going to go into details on how each of these work, doc sheets, slides, calendar. Just know that they're all very important for organizing collecting data, collaboration, the Google platform is super, super important in that regard. YouTube. YouTube is the top level of media generation in the 21st century. Why? Because it's video. And once it's up there in the Google, once it's on the Google uh, uh, internet and, and being indexed by Google semantic search, that video becomes super powerful. You can uh, uh, take the audio file from that YouTube video and have it sent up to get transcripts. Take that, those transcripts and use them for blog posts uh, or quotes. You've got all the images you want. You've got the audio file that can just go directly as a podcast. So one video can be broken out into all the other media sources you need to push the media and the narrative that you want from your group or party out uh, into, the, into the internet, which is the goal. All right. So YouTube, extremely important. When, when we talk about uh, uh, working with candidates, even more important, but that's, that's, a, that's another video. We'll talk about that. Um, social media. Social media. The only, there's only two places that you need to care about in social media, and that's Facebook and Twitter. They have different purposes. I mean, obviously, YouTube is a separate entity, but Facebook is where things get shared quickly, can go viral quickly. That's important to generate reach. Twitter is basically the, the AP wire of the globe. It's where announcements are made, headlines are produced. It's how you get people to go somewhere else, like Facebook to read something or to your website. So those two entities are important, but for very different reasons and they need to be utilized in those ways. And we can talk about that again in another video. I, I list website last. Yes, you need a website. No, it's not that important. And websites today in 2017 are like boats on the web. Everybody wants one. Once you get it, you spend more time maintaining it than you do actually using it. And most of the time, they're not really, uh, people don't go there. It's, it's, it's easier for us to put our message where the people are than it is to get the people to come to where we are, want them to be on a website, right? No one wants to go to our website right now. So don't focus your effort on a website for your team or group or whatever it happens to be. Focus on all of these other entities, the communication, uh, uh, the, the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Once you have an audience listening, then you can send them to the website, right? That's, that's so, that just because a lot of people just bury in the black hole of, of websites. It's a boat. It's a boat on the web. 10, 15 years ago, different story. Today, it's where we are. So those are the tools, right? These are the basic tools I'm talking about here. And... I just on, on all of these, I think this is, these are the most important things to remember. Study the user interface. There are so many little things to click on and hover over. And before you go screaming about why it doesn't do this or doesn't do that, or I need to call technical support, take 10 minutes of your time and hover over everything, click on everything and make sure you understand how to use the user interface because most of your questions will be answered throughout the UI. All right, learn drag and drop. If you're not familiar with drag and drop, and this does apply to a lot of people my age and older, if you're not familiar with drag and drop, learn it. Most web interfaces use it, all right? So that's important. Screen capture program, get one. It's, it's essential to building media today on the web. There are many out there. They're snag at that when you pay a lot of money for awesome shot. Awesome screenshot is one you can get through the Google App Store for free. Use Google Chrome. 
if you can. Google Chrome, created by Google for the Google universe. Everything's going to work so much better that way. Those, those are my, my tips right there. Study the UI, learn drag and drop, screen capture program, use Google Chrome, Slack, Workflowy, Google Platform, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, website. Those are the primary tools, the online tools for the revolution. Learn how to use them, get familiar with them, and we can communicate so much better together and accomplish so much more. Thanks.